Hey guys, wanted to show you a revision to a project I posted about a little while ago in regards to when um, people replace the cooling fan on their printers um, with a silent fan such as a Noctua. So there's a couple of options you can take. Um, the factory fan is 24 volts uh, and they're kind of like a flex fan. So what happens is the motherboard will basically create a duty cycle to sort of ramp down the speed of that fan. Uh, so when you replace your 24 volt factory fans with a quiet either 5 or 12 volt fan, you lose that kind of um, duty cycle, that pulse width to sort of slow down the fan or stall the fan for your initial layer where you may not want cooling as well as gradually ramp up the fan speed as you kind of work your way through the first, you know, two or three or four layers or whatever you set in your slicer. Um, so some people have been using like the 12 volt Noctua flex fans that you can actually run to reduce voltage. The problem is those fans will only um, start spinning when they get to about 60%. Uh, below 60% they tend to stall so they need kind of a kick to get them moving um, because they're not really designed to function below kind of 8 volts. So the problem is that when you uh, a lot of the time like especially the default settings in Slicer you only reach 100% fan speed at like your fourth layer which means that your first layer goes down at 0% which is fine there's no signal but then your second layer goes down at 25% well 25% of 12 volts is only 3 volts um, so the fan won't spin right so even though you're calling for 25% fan you're actually getting no fan likewise once you get to your third layer it's calling for 50% fan it's still only 6 volts so it still won't spin, right? So when you get to your third layer, it's calling for 75% fan. Okay, now it's finally got about nine volts. It's got enough to kick that fan into moving. So it just doesn't work right. So what I've done is I came up with an Arduino project to actually use a proper PWM fan. Uh, so one of the four wire uh, Noctua fans uh, instead of using those three wire flex fans. So I can give you a quick little demo of how it works here. So right now, the I've got my just manually set to full fan speed um, and what it, I've got my comm uh, open and you can see it's recognizing 100% fan speed. So what it actually is, it's just simply an Arduino Nano. Um, these fans uh, come with like a little Y connector. So all I did was I cut one of the Y connector ends off, soldered it straight to the board, so basically you got 12 volts in, uh, 12 or ground, and then there is a single wire. Only the return wire, the neutral wire off of the motherboard is going in as a signal in, uh, essentially. And then there's a fourth wire that is the uh, blue wire from the Noctua harness that is actually the uh, PWM signal out to control the speed of the PWM fan. So what I can do is well now, when I slow my fan speed down, so if I slow it down to 50%, it's kind of funny, it's not actually, even though half of 255 is, you know, 122 or whatever, um, it's not actually 50%. Uh, so see, it's actually, it's seeing 58% fan speed. And I actually put an oscilloscope on the motherboard, and it's not actually... Even though this is at 50%, the motherboard's not actually putting up 50%. I think a part of that is so that um, that factory 24 volt fan can't run even that low. So it's actually kind of scaled between 20% and 100%. Uh, but anyways, back to back to this. So 58% fan speed. So now my Noctua fan has spun down um, to about 60% fan speed. So again, I can drop this down all the way down now to like 40% fan speed. Um, or sorry, 40 out of 255, which is about 20%, uh, but it's actually seeing about 31% fan speed. And of course my fan is spinning even slower. You can almost see the fan blades moving now that it's starting to get so slow. Uh, and when I spin this all the way down to basically the slowest possible fan setting, you'll see that even though one out of 255 represents less than 1%, uh, it's actually showing 19% fan speed. So that's kind of the minimum duty cycle set out in the firmware of the motherboard because it would need, you know, about 20% of 24 volts, which I guess is, whatever that is, four and a half volts or so, in order to make the factory 24 volt fan do anything. And I guess you wouldn't even run that fan at 1% or 1% or step out of 255 but now with the pwm fan 
I actually can. Like you can actually see how slow it's going. So this returns total control of the fan back. In fact, it's significantly better than that factory 24 volt fan um, ever was. And it's uh, just sitting here clicking along, reading away. And uh, doesn't require any resistors, no voltage dividers, nothing. It's just simply reading the pulse width of the, um, you know, the coming off of that signal off of the motherboard. So I'm going to open source this for the community. I'm going to post my code below. Uh, and uh, that'll be, I guess, it for revision two. If you have any questions, though, let me know. Cheers.